I'm Eric Alexander, and you are watching Studio Q. Studio Q Show, now you know. What does it feel like to get so much love from so many people? Because I know you have from all around the world all you know these what? years. The truth is that I have. I've been, uh, I actually, I've been spoiled to death by people who have come up to me, giving me love, shown me favor, made me feel good. And it's very important because this business is so difficult that often you can get down or discouraged and then somebody come and say, hey girl, I love you, I like you, or you know, what are you doing? And it's like they're acknowledging your presence in the world. It's so powerful. I don't know if you remember when Halle Berry acknowledged specifically the black community in her speech. When she did that, that's right, when she did that, it brought tears to my eyes because I understood what she meant that you've always embraced me, you've held me, you've lifted me, you've told me, keep going, we see you. And so I'd like to say thank you, and yes, I have. So I just went to Detroit, I was doing AMC's uh, Low Winter Sun with Mark Strong and Lenny James and Ruben Santiago Hudson and um, Athena Karkanas and James Martinez. It's a wonderful show, and the whole time I was in Detroit, people thought, Honestly, I, I might as well have been Mickey Mouse. People thought, who are you? Because everywhere you go, people are like, sort of, yeah. And I said, you know what? I said, that right there you're seeing is the power of the of people of color and Hollywood. But also, you're seeing people who legitimately are glad to see you, want to say hello. And they're treating me like I was the star of the whole show. <laughs> where, where did Max come from? That's interesting. Where did Max come from? Well, I'll all shout out has to be to Yvette Lee Bowser, who created the role. Obviously, nothing happens with an actor if it's not on the page, it ain't on the stage. But also, an actor has to, way past the script, bring a piece of themselves to them. And I always say it's my sister Carolyn was crazy as a loon. And she is. If anybody thinks that Max was crazy, they got to get a load of my sister Carolyn, who's a social worker in Philadelphia, who I pull from a lot. And also, my father was a huge, huge, uh, you know, just a, a real funny guy. And my whole family, it's, I'm, I'm actually like the most boring person in my family. They're also very, they're very quite eccentric and that type of thing. So I believe I draw my past and it's definitely my present. And I, frankly, I was just trying to keep up with all the talent around me. That whole show was uh, um, just a bounty of really wonderful, talented individuals. What was your favorite episode of Living Single? And the Cosby Show. <laughs> okay, well, the Cosby Show, it's funny, they're kind of linked. They're both musical episodes. Cosby Show, I love the one where I think Rudy has a bad dream. And we are singing like we're the Supremes. And I love that. It was me, Carolina White, and Tempest Bledsoe. And we're like, Rudy has a you know, uh, tonight, you know. And that was really fun. Because it, anytime you have a dream sequence, you, don't have, you can be yourself, but other than what they've written. And that was really fun. And I also loved uh, this, this, the um, shows when Mira Makiba came on. They had so many iconic people come on. It's hard to choose. Frankly, just being there was a real honor itself. And then Living Single, Yes, the, there were a couple of iconic, for me in my mind, of living single shows. Um, definitely when Kyle and I slept together and we danced the tango. That was funny to me. And he sang to me and My Funny Valentine. They were all linked with music. And then, of course, when we went back in time, thank you. And we were the uh, group. We were the group with Latifah, who becomes the Diana Ross character. No, 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 no. I love you, Diana, but she becomes the real leader of the group, supplanting Max as the lead, and Max is, of course, angry. So that loved. We, had we got that on time. DVD. We got that one. Yes, that's the one we watch. That's the one we watch. It was a good time. It was a good time. Very. And, and what do you think about Queen Latifah and her new show that's coming out? I'm very proud of Latifah. Latifah's a baby of the family. She's about three years, sorry, three months younger than I am. And for the baby, she was very bossy. <laughs> and she's also a real star. And we're all very proud of her. We love her to death. I'm very proud of her, not only as a uh, person who is doing well inside of a very difficult culture, and that's Hollywood itself, 
but also as a black woman. She's always represented very well for that, and I've been a fan of hers even before I got on the show. I love Latifah. And if you could go back, what would you tell Erica's 21-year-old self? What would you tell her about this business, about you, about life? Quincy, it's funny you should say that because I've been playing that game with other co-stars of mine. I was in, yeah, I was in Detroit asking people what would they say. I think I would say, I, listen, the most practical thing to say is save your money. <laughs> save whatever little coins you have. It's true. It's got to last you a long time. Also, to be, to be a, more aggressive in terms of how you create opportunities for yourself. You can get in a, uh, what seems like a system that feeds things to you. But the truth is, it's not designed for that. It's designed for you to sort of come into things that are already being circulated. If you don't learn that, then you might be left out after a while when circulation sort of moves away from you. It doesn't have anything to do with your talent or your possibilities or your... It just has to do with that's how the business is. But if you're always creating and always trying to find ways to promote and do things that you know you do well, then at least it's easier and, and it distracts you away from things you cannot change. And I always tell people, my number one piece of advice is to haul ass. Haul ass. It's less time than you think to do these things. It's wonderful that you and Tam, Q, Quincy, are being um, uh, um, proactive in your career and creating not only an opportunity for yourself but a whole other platform for this type of, 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 of engagement. I didn't know that then. I, 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 I was writing and I was trying to get it together but I would have worked faster and I think I would have worked more focused and more like a, like a laser. Black Diamond, that's Concrete Park. Black Dynamite is Michael J. White's um, thing. It's wonderful, by the way. No, we are Concrete Park. It's talking about creating opportunities for ourselves. My husband and I created a comic book with my, my brother, Robert Alexander. Tony Perrier, he draws it. He, I co-write it with him. And we have been chosen this year as one of America's best new comics, 2013. Science fiction, science fiction. It is a future, and by the way, black people have always created the future. We created jazz, we created hip hop, we created rock and roll, we created all these things. And there are people who believe that we don't see ourselves in the future, but we have always seen ourselves in the future, whether it's Octavia Butler or Sam Delaney or any of these people. My husband said to our studio executives who told us that black people don't see themselves in the future, so they wouldn't like science fiction. And he said, no, that's not true. You're not absolutely wrong. Will Smith is the number one science fiction star in the world. But also, he said, the path for blacks, the past is painful, the present precarious, but the future is free. We always see ourselves in the future. Your future that you're living in is because black people imagined it. And he said, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, I just want to tell you, it has been an absolute pleasure, honor. I mean, we feel privileged just to be in your company, so thank you. Back at you, girl. Congratulations for everything. My love, QTV. Love it. Studio Q.